It is my honor to present to you Dr. David Fong to recognize his outstanding achievements as an international entrepreneur and champion of sustainable management and, uh, and engineering. Dr. Fong used his extensive education as a springboard to future success. An immigrant to Canada, he completed three chemical engineering degrees at McGill University, including a PhD in 1979. A decade later, he founded and became chair and CEO of ACDEG Group, a global technology integrator based in West Vancouver. Throughout his career, Dr. Fong has been involved with more than two dozen business ventures and more than 60 patents and patent applications. He has advised a range of federal government departments and offices, as well as one of the largest clean te technology venture capital funds in Canada. His more recent projects include integrating technologies from Canada, France, Belgium, and Japan for sustainable shrimp farming in China and developing a floating device to cleanly reoxygenate large bodies of water. Dr. Fong received an honorary doctorate from Capilano University in North Vancouver in 2014, and he served as Capilano's chancellor from 2016 to 2020. A dedicated volunteer and philanthropist, Dr. Fong has been a member of many boards, and he and his wife, Grace, established the ACDEG Fellowship in Sustainable Engineering at McGill in 2016. Mr. President, on behalf of the Board of Governors and Senate, it is my privilege and honor to present to you Dr. David Fong so that you may confer upon him the degree of Doctor of Science honoris causa. And now I'd like to invite Dr. Fung to proceed to the podium for his convocation address. Well, good evening, Mr. President and Vice Chancellor, distinguished platform guests, graduating class, families and friends, and a special greetings to our South Asian communities on today's Diwali Festival. And bonjour, madame and monsieur. I'm most grateful to Concordia University for honoring me with this honorary degree. Like generations of immigrants before me, I came to this country 56 years ago with one suitcase and a few dollars in my pocket. This country, Canada, has given me the opportunity to learn, grow, and build a meaningful life. I must acknowledge the flinching support and encouragement of my wife of 51 years, Grace, sitting up there in the audience, she is my hero for believing in me, a poor student, 
when I had so little to offer and when I stumbled often. She has given me a family, three children and nine grandchildren, and I'm proud to show off at every available opportunity. But tonight, I want to talk to our graduating class on three items. How to fail successfully, ethics, and potential. So our education institutions have many programs to teach us how to succeed. Very few offer programs on how to fail successfully. Failing successfully sounds like an oxymoron. Yet knowing how to recognize failure quickly is a cornerstone for success. Throwing good money after bad is a recipe for disaster. So graduating class from the John Mosen School of Business, you are in the wealth creation business. Creating wealth means taking risks in choosing a path with limited visibility, believing in yourself, having the conviction that you are on the right path to success. But what if you are wrong? In the science and technology world where I spend most of my career, the valley of death is our constant companion. We are wrong most of the time. Statistics show only one in 250 research ideas would achieve successful commercialization you can understand that successfully managing to discard the other 249 quickly is the cornerstone for building success. To recognize the losers early requires the recognition of the key characteristics of success. Concordia University has given you the working discipline to succeed, the tools to meet ch challenge, emerging challenges, and the basic knowledge to recognize the characteristics of success in your chosen field. Your future is in your hands. My youngest daughter, Amanda, is a little older than you and has been developing a profitable ethical trade in African seed business. And I emphasize the word ethical. She believes that she can make a difference in helping the developing economies in, uh, in Africa generate wealth for the benefits of the local residents. Ethics is the elephant in the room of business. Peter Drucker reiterated the importance of profit in business, but highlighted the danger of profit maximization. Without ethical guardrails, greed will convert excellent business skills into more Enrons and WorldCom. The daily question for each one of us is, do I feel I'm fulfilling my potential? At any given time, we each have a unique combination of knowledge, skills, experience, resources, network of influence, and opportunities, in addition to our passions and interests. If we want to so help solve the world's greatest problems, or even just make our lives count for something, we have to honestly ask ourselves whether we are making the most of what we've got, and if not, what can be uh, done different. One of the greatest things about potential is that it is not fixed. Every new day and every new experience stretch us or expose us to something or someone new. You can fulfill your potential one day, but the next day you have a new level of potential to fulfill. The key is choosing to be humble and teachable, denying uncomfortable ignorance and undue arrogance in favor of the unlimited possibilities that come with lifelong learning, growing and collaborating. It is a daily choice to make our life count, and it requires a daily commitment to fulfill our new potential to be profitable and make the world a better place for all. So graduating class, I wish you success in fulfilling your personal potentials for the years to come. Thank you.
Thank you, Dr. Fung, for your remarks about uh, ethics, about personal choice, about success, about failure. I think your, your convocation address was inspirational, but your life is even more inspirational for everyone in this room. Thank you for joining the Concordia community.